100,000 Manjome Thunder! Alright guys, if you haven't heard the news, the voice actor for Chaz in uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! GX, the Japanese voice actor, passed away. So we are going to go ahead and try out an armed dragon deck in honor of... Uh, Manjome Thunder himself. Kind of like the the real big bad that he first had. Because, I mean, I feel like Chaz kind of went through the motions. He had the the VWXYZ. He had the Ojamas as well. And uh, he had the Arm Dragons, too. Now, we don't have Arm Dragon level 10 in GOAT format. But we do have level 7 as the highest guy. And with him, we can send a monster from our hand to the graveyard. Destroy all monsters our opponent controls with attack less than or equal to that of the sent monster's attack. So, unfortunately, we're really not going to be uh, probably getting over any Black Luster Soldier <laughs> or anything too strong like that. But uh, 2400 and, uh, and under is where we're looking at. Or I guess, yeah, 2400. So... I don't know, I guess we'll see what we can do. It's a deck list that I got from the GOAT Format channel. JDZ did it for a Father's Day special. So I did kind of switch up the side deck a little bit. I tossed in two level ups and uh, two last wills. Kind of cheese out our cyber style a little bit quicker and then hopefully go into a King Dragoon. But we got one copy of Arm Dragon level seven. We got three copies of level five. The nice thing is we don't have to use the effect of level three to go into level five. We can just go ahead and outright summon it. So it does make it a little bit easier. So we got two copies of level three. We got one breaker. We got three flying Kamakiri. We're able to float right into Arm Dragon level three with their effect. We got three Mass Dragon, again, able to go right into uh, Arm Dragon level three, just trying to, you know, really turbo it out. Especially if our opponent destroys one of these during their turn, and we're able to get out Arm Dragon level three, then during our standby phase, we can go right into five. So, not too bad of a deal. Then we got Sasuke Samurai number four, we got Sangan, we got our Tribe Infecting Virus, then we got three Gravekeepers Spy, just because Spy's really good at putting up a uh, nice wall. And then we're able to have bodies on board to tribute off for Arm Dragon level 5. For the spells, we got our Pot of Greed, Graceful Charity, Delinquent Duo. We got two Brain Control for 5. We got uh, two copies of Noble of Crossout. We got our Premature Burial. Two Creature Swaps, since we do have our Recruiters in here. Heavy Storm, Mystical Space Typhoon, Snatch Steel, Mind Control. And a smashing ground. Then for the traps, we got our ring, mirror force, our TT, two dust tornadoes, and a call the haunted, so we can keep bringing back a body for level five to get out a little bit quicker and hopefully get up to level seven, because that's kind of our goal. In the side, we got two Mobius, we got two Cyber Stein, two Azura Priest, Morphine Jar, two Level Up, two Last Will, Trap Dust Shoot, and then three. Royal Decree. So I got a quick replay, and uh, yeah, we can see how this uh, how this plays out, pretty much. Because uh, it's, it's definitely an interesting deck. It's a fun deck. It's not crazy competitive, obviously. We're missing a lot that could uh, really make it, I feel, competitive. But Arm Dragon's fun, and it is honoring the voice actor for... Chaz in the uh, in the sub. So they go ahead, they toss their Thunder Dragon, do some Thunder Dragon things. They go ahead and set two, and we draw into Snatch Steel. So not bad. Go ahead and play our Pot of Greed. We have a decent opening hand. I mean, Pot of Greed, two great or uh, Graceful Charity. So it's not you know too too bad. I guess you could say. Play our Graceful. 
go ahead and toss those guys, bring out our flying Kamakuri number one. Go ahead and attack in, and it is Tsukiyomi, which flips our boy face down, unfortunately. So we go ahead and set to, we set our Mirror Force and our Call of the Haunted. They go ahead, set a Speller Trap, and then also set a monster as well. Now you see what I probably should have uh, been thinking was, yeah, you know what, it's totally going to be uh, Tsukiyomi, but I don't know. I'm not really thinking, I guess. So we go ahead and just attack in. There's that. Flip that face down. And uh, that's that. <laughs> Unfortunately. They summon their Suk. They flip the Mass Dragon face down. I play Mirror Force on it because I am sick of my monsters getting flipped. Go ahead and draw into the five. We flip our uh, Flying Kamakiri and our Mass Dragon. We attack in. Get hit with the Raigeki Break. They pop our Call of the Haunted. So at least we're able to get in for some damage on that. So not bad. A little 28 poking in. Maybe should have said you know, summon Tribe Infecting Virus, but hey, you live and learn, right? They bring out the Black Luster Soldier, bring out Sangan, Flying Kamakiri lets me float right into another one. So not too bad there. They attack again, take a little more damage, but we do get out our Arm Dragon level three. So in our standby phase, we're able to bring out our Arm Dragon level five. Not bad, not bad. Then I play Brain Control, we go ahead and take that BLS, which is pretty good. Then I attack with the level 5, so we can go into 7. And unfortunately, they play Mirror Force on us, so... Yeah, easy come, easy go, apparently. With Sangan being the sole survivor out there. So I go ahead and set Gravekeeper Spy to at least have a body on the board. They hit us with that element of cross out. We lose all of our copies, but hey, they lose theirs as well too. They attack in with Sangan and we draw our element of cross out. So go ahead, we play Snatch. They play uh, Book of Moon to flip it. Then we play Nobleman to get rid of it. Then we attack in with our Tribe Infecting Virus. So a nice little exchange there. They play Snatch, attack in, unfortunately. Uh, in our draw phase, they play the Ring of Destruction. And that's that for game one. That was uh, that was rough, unfortunately. So since we lost, we go ahead and we are going first. So we start off with a hand. That's kind of the best way to put it. And then we get another brain control. So not, not the worst in the grand scheme of things. But for right now, it's not doing us any favors at all. So they go ahead and set a monster, they pass over to us, and we can't do anything! They uh, flip up their Sinister Serpent, bring out their Tsukiyomi to flip that back down, then they attack in, we take 1100, they set a card. Play Dust Tornado, it's Metamorphosis, so at least I don't have to worry about that for now. Go ahead, bring out Sasuke Samurai number 4, and destroy the Sinister Serpent. That gets added back to their hand. And they bring it out. Then they play Metamorphosis. So go figure. They had another one. They bring out Thousand Eyes Restrict. They uh, they suck up our boy. And they get in for 1,200. So we go ahead. We Brain Control. And then we Tribute off for our level 5. So unfortunately, it has to destroy a monster by battle for, uh, for it to level up to 7. Otherwise, that would have been... Pretty cool if we could have just gone right into it, but unfortunately not. Unfortunately not. They bring back their Sinister Serpent. They <laughs> had another Metamorphosis, go figure. I go ahead and just Torrential Tribute it. I wasn't going to mess around with that. There was, uh, yeah, no way I was going to do that. Uh, they go ahead, they T-set, we take it. Magician of Faith are able to get back that mind control, which is pretty nice. Play Call of the Haunted, bring back our Arm Dragon, attack in, and it's Mirror Force. Go figure. <laughs> Mirror Force just always destroying our level five. So they set a few cards. We go ahead and mind control. We flip up our spy. Probably should have waited realistically, but they had scapegoat anyways. But what I should have done was uh, 
have both spies attack. I then flip Tsukiyomi main phase 2, flip my spy back face down since Tsukiyomi can't attack from mind control, but that's why we do replays, right? So we can watch back and look at the errors that we do. So, wish I did that, but hey, you live and learn, pretty much. They bring out Breaker, they pop our back row, which is just a creature swap, face down. They Raigeki break, the face down spy. They go ahead and bring out a BLS. And then, uh, yeah, unfortunately, that was, that was game two. And that is how we lost. <laughs> But hey, that's the deck. I mean, it's not too crazy competitive. It felt like we were kind of holding our own against a, uh, a Chaos deck like that. It seemed pretty standard. But yeah, I don't know. Well, what do you guys think? What could be done to make this a little better? You know, why not, why not try and make Arm Dragon a little better? I mean, I've seen things like Element Dragon who gets certain effects for different attributes being on the field. And this is a win, so you do get a, a nice little wind effect, you know, from him being on the field, I guess. But there's a few different things I guess we could try out. We could make it a little more uh, Cyberstein focused for King Dragoon. That's one way we could go about it. I've seen some Horus decks that are kind of like that. And realistically, this could be built the same. You just swap out the Horus for the uh, Armed Dragon, realistically. Although it is wind, so you know you need to have your Kamakiri in there. But you guys comment down below what could be changed, what could uh, make it better, what could make it you know a little more a little more consistent. What could you know stand its own against some of the uh, the better decks in Goat format? And of course, if you guys like the video, be sure to like the video, be subscribed with the notification bell ring. Go ahead and. Uh, yeah, check out those links down below. Check out the Etsy store. Check out that Goat Club t-shirt. Be sure to use that TCG player link as well, too. We will see you guys on the next one. Goodbye and good night. I, Seto Kaiba, president of Kaiba Corp, implore you to check these recommended videos. While you're at it, hit subscribe and first stream that notification bell for all future videos.